Hey gamers, if you like Where's Waldo and you're looking for a game that takes a little bit of a spin on that, you're going to want to check out Spotlight. Let's take a look at how this one plays. In this game, players will be using their flashlight to search the scene that they have in front of them. Each player will have their own, and they will be looking for whatever character is on the top card here. So I'd be looking for that ghost, and I have as long as the timer is going. At the end of the timer, I will have to decide how many times I saw him. So I think I saw the ghost six times. And then once everybody's locked in an answer, we will reveal. So it looks like they were visible eight times somewhere in the picture, but as long as you guessed less than or equal to the number that is on that card, then you'll be able to move up the number of stars that are on there. So I got to move up three but maybe this person only got to move up two and this person only got to move up one then players if playing cooperatively are allowed to decide if they would like to employ the stay together method meaning that i can move back one in order to move this player up one so that way we're all a little bit more together and that's really helpful then the players will move the moon. In some cases, the card will have a number of moons on it. So in this case, the moon would move up two spots. And then we would roll to see if the moon moved more. So if I had rolled this, it would move one more. If the moon ever catches up to a player or passes them, players can spend one of these lightning bolt tokens in order to move whoever got caught up to one space in front of the moon. They will have to spend one for each player that happens to get caught. It's also possible when rolling for the moon that players will get the low battery roll, and then in that case, they will have to flip over their flashlights and play with slightly less light for the next round. The game ends after five cards, and as long as they didn't run out of these refresh tokens, then the players will win and be able to compare their score to a chart that's in the rule book. If they did run out of those and get caught again, then they will lose the game. It's also possible to play competitively where there's no moon and you're just trying to be ahead of all of the other players. And there's a little catch up mechanic where if you are winning, then you have to play on the low light. So ties will go in favor of the player who was playing with lower light. There's also a couple of the other options to make the game easier or harder. You can have more or less time. You can use these quadrant tiles in order to block off one of the quadrants when looking, and that will change the number of times that you're looking for a character or an object. But I like that there's a lot of variability, and again, players can play cooperatively and win together or competitively and try to be the single winner. I thought this game was super cute. I liked both the cooperative and the competitive modes. I thought that both had a lot of merit. Um, I think it is a little bit hard to catch up in competitive mode. If somebody is really good at it and is always getting like the perfect number, it can definitely be hard to come back. But I do like that it has that little bit of a catch up mechanic that if somebody is ahead, then they're gonna have to play with the flashlight on low light. So that's a little bit better, but I did really like it cooperatively because if somebody is maybe not as good at finding the, the characters or the objects that they're looking for, um, there are ways for the players to help each other and kind of stay together on that track ahead of the moon so that they don't have to um, worry about somebody falling too far behind, hopefully. But overall, I thought that it was really cute. Again, if you like things like um, like I Spy or like Where's Waldo, this is a really cool way to gamify that. And I like that it has a couple of different options to play to make it easier or harder. And again, to just be able to play it as a team or competitively. But you can check out my full thoughts on the blog today to decide if this one's for you.